Spectrum Health's Advanced Technology Laboratories is unique in that it houses three labs all in the same place. In tonight's Medical Moment, we break down the differences between those three labs. Three labs started decades ago in separate settings across Grand Rapids, now under one roof at Advanced Technology Labs. We have flow cytometry, which is the study of the proteins on the surface of the cell. We're looking at the white blood cells and what's on the outside of them, and that helps us diagnose leukemias and lymphomas. Then we go into cytogenetics and we go into the cell and we pull out the chromosomes. And we're looking at the chromosomes using a variety of technologies, but we're looking to make sure all the chromosomes are there, that they're normal, and if there's anything wrong with them, we determine just exactly what is wrong with them. And then in molecular diagnostics, we go into the chromosome and we pull out the DNA and RNA and we do our testing on the DNA and RNA of, from the patient and the tumors. Molecular diagnostics does a wide variety of testing. Not only do cancer studies, we do a lot of infectious disease testing like human papillomavirus, HPV. We do hepatitis B and hepatitis C viral load testing. That's very important when someone has been diagnosed with hepatitis C, you need to track the amount of virus in the blood to determine if the treatment is working. The lab can determine what type of hepatitis C the patient may have because each genotype has its own distinct treatment. We also do testing that is hereditary in nature like cystic fibrosis. Um, Huntington's disease. Testing on virtually any specimen through next generation sequencing, allowing the patient to go directly to the best drug to treat it. The exciting thing about these three labs is that the technology is changing almost daily and molecular is definitely the fastest changing. We're so fortunate to have this here in West Michigan. And for more information on the Advanced Technology Laboratories, you can go to the website right there on your screen.